There are a standard number of medical and developmental issues that everyone pretty much agrees upon that children are at risk for when they're living in institutions <clears throat> abroad. And those include the medical and the infectious diseases issues and then the developmental, emotional, psychological issues. So if we divide that up, we start with the medical issues which are clearly focused on nutrition. These are kids who are both affected by poor prenatal care so that while they're inside their mother, they're not getting proper nutrition. There's no prenatal care likely in kids who are going to end up in an orphanage setting. And then when they're born and placed in a hospital or in an orphanage setting, they're going to have both a combination of lack of calories, adequate calories, and then micronutrient deficiencies. So they'll have undernutrition and then the micronutrient deficiencies, which would include in it things like iron deficiency anemia, and they would be missing calcium and vitamin D, and zinc, and an assortment of other micronutrients. And so that would be one category. And that's a, a, a very, that's a serious, that's the, probably the most serious medical issue that we see because it causes such a punishment of the brain and probably is at the heart of why kids have an increased risk for developmental disabilities. Um, although we know now the vast majority of kids really overcome all of that, the residual effects of micronutrient deficiencies and undernutrition leave kids with a high incidence of learning disabilities and attention issues.